What's up guys, y'all know who it is, y'all know what it is, your boy JP comes out with another how-to. Today we have a 2010 Lincoln Town car, one of my favorite vehicles. And I'm going to show you how to take this radio out and install your own. This is your first time tuning into the channel. Welcome, please consider subscribing because these are the type of things that we do here. Car audio tutorials, radio removals, anything car audio install related. That's what this channel is about. So go ahead and subscribe, become part of the community. Why? Because it's free. Hit that like button because it's free. Either way, um, let's go ahead and get started because we have to take these two uh, seven millimeter bolts out of that little pocket right there. So right up under the instrument panel, instrument cluster, whatever you want to call it, there's two seven mils and you need to take those out. All right, y'all, next thing that I want to do is I want to take my key, turn it, put this in the lowest position. Set my steering wheel in the lowest position. Take our panel removal tool, come over here, and start to pop off the uh, dad. That piece right there, that piece right here. It is all one piece. Come over here. It's not gonna go down like that. All right, pop those out. There we go. There we go. So now that we have that loose, those two seven mils are at the top, and everything else is just held in by clips right along the little side of the panel. So we're gonna come behind here, right there. So we need to take that harness out. It's literally just a little push right there on that tab. Take that tab. I'd rather come over here and disconnect some of these harnesses and then lean my lean it all the way to the other side, especially while the car is on. So take that out. Have all the harnesses out. We get to pull. All right, so those are the last two harnesses. There's two at the bottom, one for the headlight switch, and one for um, the dimmer. But once we have all of those, we can literally just kind of move this over here. And hmm, I kind of got to set up right here just on this direction because where it's out of the way, that way I can keep my passenger airbag light still plugged in. And then we can go ahead and turn our car off. All right, so change your plans. Uh, that light kept the, the little light indicator, let your headlights is on, kept blinking. So I actually was able to turn, put the car back in park, turn the car off and take the key out. Unplug this, plug that light sw switch back up. So, so the dash is really out the way. We just know that since we unplugged that, we don't want to actually turn the car on for any type of testing without that being back, plugged back in. Now. Uh, only thing we have now is two seven mil bolts at the top. Have those out. That's the clock right there. And we have to remove it because there's two seven mils behind there, one on this side and one on that side, and then we will have that radio. All the seven mils out, we can slide that radio out across the top. Take out the harnesses. And there you have it. We have that radio out. Now let's get over here to the uh, test bench and get that dash prep. All right, y'all, so we are here at the test bench. We have our aftermarket radio with the dash kit. Now the dash kit does come in three pieces. I just wanna halfway put it on so you can see what it looks like versus what we're gonna do. And don't worry about it, we'll have all the descriptions, all of these parts listed for you in the description. So you're gonna have a trim piece and two side pieces. If you look at the radio, the radio has these two parts at the top. So you need to make sure that this part is at the top when you put it on the side. The reason that I like to go ahead and slide the dash kit on the front part first, is once you put this trim over, then you can slide this up to where these two parts meet and then it helps you line up your holes so you know where you need to put those screws that came in with the radio. And I'm gonna show you what, we, show you what I'm talking about on the left side. 
So we have the dash kit on, sitting like that, and we know that we want this part at the top. So you wanna take that, and then we can slide this up and just kinda of hold it together in place, put that back on the part, and then now we know that our holes line up right here, and that's where we wanna put two screws on both sides. So let me go ahead and do that while this thing keeps sliding. All right, so now that we've done both sides, this is what it looks like, similar to the factory radio. Now let's go ahead and get this thing wired up and get back inside the car. Guys, we're back inside the car. We got this thing wired up. This is your first time here. You're probably thinking, why didn't I actually go over the wiring? Well, I have over 200 different radio removal and install videos, and it would take too much time to go over the CD player wiring every single time. So to save time, I actually made one video showing you how to wire up a radio. I go over the aftermarket wire colors, what all of them mean, and different types of connections yes every car is different but as long as you buy the harness and know what these aftermarket wire colors are then you'll know how to install this now if you cut the harness I also made a video on showing you how to hardwire your CD player I actually have two of those and I have a whole how-to playlist that and the reason I made those videos is because if I make it once I won't have to make them again every single time I do one of these videos and I can keep these short sweet straight to the point and most efficient as possible now now, if you need some type of wire color diagrams, I do give that information to my Patreons. You guys go the extra mile and support me, so I go the extra mile giving you 101 uh, tips and tricks that I don't provide actually here on YouTube. So, so other than that, let's go ahead and get this pushed back inside so you can see what it looks like when it's all said and done. All right, guys, this is what it looks like when it's all said and done. If you find any type of value in this video, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, share, comment if you want to. And our product link's in the description, Patreon link's in the description. If you don't want to be a Patreon, but this video still helped you out, hit that heart at the bottom, man. Till next time, it's your boy JP signing out. Y'all be blessed.